Here we are in a workshop. So today we're going to learn about how to sharpen secateurs. Um, so uh, these are the tools you need, the, the things that you need to do it. Uh, a cloth, a lag, um, a spanner, a pair, the pair of secateurs that you're going to use of course, and some wind dry sandpaper. Um, this, a wire brush to this get away you don't have you don't really need one of these but yeah if you if your secretaries are really black and rucked off and it won't come off then you can use it you can use um so this is tallow it's like it's a kind of you can use it we're gonna today we're gonna use it like as grease so but you can use uh, oil oil um tallow from a from cows and bulls um and you can use grease. But today we're going to use tallow. Okay. Can you use coconut oil too, would you? Yeah, you can use coconut oil too. So, um, we're going to... So, first what you do, get the shifting spanner. That bolt there, on your secateurs, you just clip that. That's actually first. You can see how... You just take that out. The spring. So those little black bits, those little black bits there, that black bit there can go in there. But these are more common ones here. So that those little bits, when you're putting it back together, has you, you want know. To show people the spring. Yeah. So this is a spring. So when you're cutting, um, just it's much it more springy. Yeah. That goes in there. So this, you usually, um, it goes in there, but with these ones, there's a bit different, and that just goes in there. So um, then we'll go back to this. So you take that out first. I'm gonna turn it up. If you look at a bit of a more su survival, su survival scenario, then you can, um, and you don't have one of these, shifting spanner then you can just um, use a leatherman but that's extra, that's much harder to use a, you can just use the pliers on a leatherman to like squeeze it so now it's probably easy enough to get it off with your hands okay so then you when you're taking it apart, you put it back together so you know when you're putting it back how to do it. So I know how to do it, so that goes like that. So then you take that out and then um, get this wet and dry sandpaper. So this it's it um, doesn't take much pollution to, to get it. it doesn't come in plastic wrapping you can just get a sheet of it at your local hardware store so just whip a bit off okay so you can even just use a bit like that but we it, it, yeah, a big bit like this is good. and you want to get into it all spotless like those bits of dirt there we want to get rid of all of them and they're also up in that circle and then we'll do that side in a minute and that part there too that joins to that that's good to do too so you want to get in that little gap there After a while, the little sand bits on there get worn out, so um, that's good to just keep an eye on that. So if you see it not doing anything, then you probably want to get another piece. But it can last to fair. It can do a few pairs of secateurs a piece like this, maybe two. Let me show the blade now, will you? Just to so see how that's much cleaner. Beautiful. But there are still little bits of dirt in there, yeah. so we're just going to get rid of them.
suppose you can see that side's about done. Just sometimes you don't want to go all the way off, but then you've just got to kind of there's a little bit of tiny bit of dirt there. You just got to be have good eyesight so you can get in those little corners. On that side it's a bit harder because that goes down there and then that. But we just do the same thing. Okay, so um, as you can see, I finished this side. So also that top bit across there, you want to do that too. So we just get that top bit. And do that. Okay, so this bit here, um, this is actually getting a bit worn out, I'll just use that. So this bit here, you just want to get in that little gap there, in that little bit across there, because that goes up a bit. You want to get in that bit across there, and just fine tune that little bit off. Okay, so that goes, because this is the other side, um, you want to um, get that bit, little bit in there and then get around that circle bit. And also in that part there, too, you just want to get in there, in that part across there, and then in that part up there. So see there are little bits of dirt there, just want to get them. You can use your fingers if you like to, so you can just dip your finger in there, and then Get and in those little corners around there. Okay, but we want to get over that top bit too. Just put a bit on. And then just get it like that, top like that. And then that's good. And then that's some on there, so just wipe it in. And this, around that hole, it's especially good to do it around that little circle and there. Okay, so now they're ready to put back together. So you just find how you put them. Okay, so I like to go around that side. So the bolt goes the way that, as because the secateur bit where you close it is on the other side, you put it on the side where it's not, and then you find the flat bit. You can, there's a flat bit across there, so then you get the flat bit on there, and then line it up with that, and then you get, you get the other side. Get that bolt. Okay. Yeah, so you do them up tight and then you just load off a little bit. As you can see, I can't move them. So then you just let off what you need because you don't want it too loose. I will slide that off. I'm going to put the spring in. And then that goes, the, that little bit goes in that little hole there. And then that goes there. Now your secateur is all ready to go. So grab a piece of pruning wood or apple of wood 
and then the second toes don't cut that they're not very good at cutting dry wood so it's good to get a green branch like this and then look how clean that cut is yeah and because the, the cleaner the cut the less disease so there's your second toes so dad and I have a pruning business in winter so um, if you can't, if you don't know how to proper prune the trees and you live around Dowsford or Hepburn then um, call us. Otherwise we'll do an online pruning workshop soon.